Santana is a Mexican rock guitarist. Santana became famous in the late 1960s and early 1970s with his band Santana, which pioneered rock, salsa, and jazz fusion. The band's sound featured his melodic blues-based guitar lines set against the Latin and African rhythms featuring percussion instruments such as timbales and congas, not generally heard in rock music. Santana continued to work in these forms over the following decades. He experienced a resurgence of popularity and critical acclaim in the late 1990s. Rolling Stone named Santana number 15 on their list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time in 2003. He has won 10 Grammy Awards and 3 Latin Grammy Awards. Santana was born in Ablan de Nervaro, Jalisco, Mexico. His father was a mariachi violinist, and Carlos learned to play the violin at age five and the guitar at age eight. Young Carlos was heavily influenced by Richie Valens at a time when there were very few Latinos in American rock and pop music. The family moved from Ablan de Nervaro to Tijuana, the border city between Mexico and California, and then San Francisco. Carlos stayed in Tijuana, but joined his family in San Francisco later and graduated from James Lake Middle School and Mission High School there. He graduated from Mission High in 1965. Javier Batiz, a famous guitarist from Tijuana, Mexico, said to have been Carlos' guitar teacher and taught him to play a different style of guitar soloing. After learning Batiz's techniques, Santana would make them his own as well. On October 19, 2007, his wife of 34 years, Deborah, filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. And on July 9, 2010, Santana announced his plans to wed drummer Cindy Blackman at a Santana show in Tinley Park, Illinois, by proposing on stage in the middle of a set right after the Blackman played a drum solo. Santana was signed by CBS Records and went into the studio to record their first album. They were not satisfied with the release and decided changes needed to be made. The result was the dismissal of Bob Livingston. Santana replaced him with Mike Shreve, who had a strong background in both jazz and rock. Marcus Malone was forced to quit the band due to personal problems, and the band re-enlisted Michael Carabello. Carabello brought with him percussionist Jose Chepito Arias, who was already well known in his country, Nicaragua, and with his skills and professional experience was a major contributor to the band. In 1970, the group reached its early commercial peak with their second album, Abraxas, which reached number one on the album charts and went on to sell over four million copies. Instrumental in the production of the album was pianist Alberto Gianquinto, who advised the group to stay away from lengthy percussion jams and concentrate on tighter song structures. The innovative Santana musical blend made a number four hit out of the English band Fleetwood Mac's Black Magic Woman, and a number 13 hit out of salsa legend Tito Puente's Oye Como Va. In 1972, Santana became a huge fan of the pioneering fusion band, the Vahishnu Orchestra, and its guitarist, John McLaughlin. Aware of Santana's interest in meditation, McLaughlin introduced Santana and Deborah to his guru, Sri Chinmoy. Chinmoy accepted them as disciples in 1973. Santana was given the name Devadit, meaning the lamp, the light, and eye of God. Santana and McLaughlin recorded an album together, Love, Devotion, Surrender, with members of Santana and the Mahavishnu Orchestra along with percussionist Don Elias and organist Larry Young, who both had made appearances on Miles Davis's classic, Bitches Brew, in 1969. Santana's record sales in the 1990s were very low. Toward the end of the decade, he was without a contract. 
However, Arista Records' Clive Davis, who had worked with Santana at Columbia Records, signed him and encouraged him to record a star-studded album with mostly younger artists. The result was 1999's Supernatural, which included collaborations with Everlast, Rob Thomas of Matchbox 20, Eric Clapton, Lauryn Hill, Wyclef John, CeeLo, Mana, Dave Matthews, K.C. Porter, J.B. Eckel, and others. However, the lead single was what grabbed the attention of both fans and the music industry. Smooth, a dynamic cha-cha stop-start number co-written and sung by Rob Thomas of Matchbox 20, was laced throughout with Santana's guitar fills and runs. The track's energy was immediately apparent on radio, and it was played on a wide variety of station formats. Smooth spent 12 weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100, becoming in the process the last number one single of the 1990s. Santana is featured as a playable character in the music video game Guitar Hero 5. A live recording of his song, No One to Depend On, is included in the game, which was released on September 1, 2009. Carlos recently opened a chain of upscale Mexican restaurants called Maria Maria. It is a combined effort with Chef Roberto Santibanez. They are located in Tempe, Arizona, Mill Valley, now closed, Walnut Creek and Danville, California, Austin, Texas, and Boca Raton, Florida. Around the age of eight, Santana fell under the influence of blues performers like B.B. King and John Lee Hooker. He also credits Jimi Hendrix and Mike Bloomfield as important influences. He considered Bloomfield a direct mentor, writing of, of a key meeting with Bloomfield in San Francisco in a foreword he wrote to a biography of Bloomfield. Michael Bloomfield, if you love these blues and oral history, in 2000. Santana played a Red Gibson SG special with P90 pickups at the Woodstock Festival. Santana currently uses a Santana 2 model guitar using PRS Santana 3 pickups with nickel covers and a tremolo with .009 or .042 gauge Diodario strings. Santana's guitar necks and fretboards are constructed out of a single solid piece of Brazilian rosewood. This helps create the smooth, singing, glass-like tone that he's 